Hello everyone, let's discuss the zeros of holomorphic functions. First, let's recall what punctured open sets are. We have that d dash of a and r is equal to d of a and r without a, which is the punctured open disk of center a and radius r. Now, let's define isolated zeros. Suppose f is holomorphic in d of a and r. Then a is a zero of f if f of a is equal to zero, and a is an isolated zero of f if f of a is equal to zero, and there exists some epsilon greater than zero, such that d dash of a and epsilon contains no zeros of f. Next, let's state the identity theorem. Suppose s is a region and f from s to the complex numbers is holomorphic. Let z of f be the set of zeros of f in s. If z of f has a limit point in s, then f is identically equal to zero in S. A corollary of this is that if F is not the zero function, then all the zeros of F in S are isolated. Then let's state the uniqueness theorem. Suppose S is a region and F and G go from S to the complex numbers and are both holomorphic. Let I of F and G equal the set of all Z and S such that f of z is equal to g of z. If i of f and g has a limit point in s, then f is identically equal to g in s. And as ever, thank you for watching.